passion, drive, persistence, resilience, love, all qualities that shape and define us. Join the Cyber Warrior as he helps shape your path. This is Walk With Me. Welcome back to Walk With Me, a Cyber Warrior Studios production. As always, I'm your host on this journey, the Cyber Warrior. Now, this week, it's the last week of October. So I want to cover something, a topic that can really hit home, I think, for a lot of people. And that is coming up to the end of the year. You know, it's funny because we're hitting the holiday season. There's Thanksgiving coming up for those in the U.S. There's Christmas and a bunch of other holidays. No matter what you celebrate, no matter what you believe in, there's just so many holidays that are coming up and a lot of time off for a lot of people. The holiday season, the last two months of the year, a lot of people are taking off. There's also New Year's coming up. That's right. So people are right now closing out their end of the year, trying to get as many tests done as possible, coming very close to burnout, which we've talked about previously. And it's rough. It's rough on a lot of people because as we're looking towards what we can do better is we're looking towards the future. We are taking away from where we're at now. And we may be looking at planning out all of next year. We're planning our schedules, our trainings, our whatever, our vacations. And we're not really in the now. We're not in the moment. And I think that's something that we do a lot of. We, we don't really concentrate on where we're at right now. We don't take care of ourselves right now. We put it off to the future and we say, okay, I'm going to do better next week or I'm going to do better tomorrow or I'm going to do better in the new year. I have a new year's resolution. Let's be honest, nine times out of 10, they all fail. But why wait? Why put things, if you're coming up on, on this long stretch of time where a lot of people are going to be off work or try to take off work, then concentrate on yourself. If you're going to be one of those people that takes off work, like you know myself and so many others are, then concentrate on yourself. Figure out what you need to do now. What can you start now to get better? Do you need to talk to one of your supervisors or a friend or a mentor to figure out, okay, how can I improve? How can I take where I'm at now and improve that going on into the next year? How can I start something now instead of waiting two months to make it happen? We always do this with our lives. We always think that, oh, it'll be, I got time later. I got time later. The time is now. The time is right now for you to do better. If you made a mistake yesterday, that's fine. Brush it off. Because like I've discussed before, and I've told my kids recently, and I'm sure if you've listened to every episode, I've mentioned it in previous episodes, we are all, we are all victims of our choices, our own choices. We have to live with the consequences of our own actions or our own inaction where we don't go for that next promotion because we're afraid, where we don't go for that training to make us better because we think we're going to fail or that we're not going to understand it. We all do it. And if we take an action, if we maybe approach a situation in the wrong way or we leave our current job because we feel like, ah, oh, I'm just never gonna get promoted or I'm never gonna get a raise or the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, let's be honest, it's not. I've played that game. It doesn't work out. Well, not always. So you have to take what you have and really consider the fact that, yes, maybe the company you currently work for or wherever you're at isn't necessarily paying you the most money, but are they taking care of you mentally? Are they helping you out? Are they encouraging you to get training? Are they encouraging you to do better? And are you just not listening? Now, let me talk about something that hits a little bit close to home to me, and that's with all, the vet, all of the veterans these days. All of the ones getting out. Now, could those of us getting out do better? Yes. I know I could have. I could have paid attention more. And are some units in the military really bad about allowing soldiers or 
airmen or marines or seamen or navy or whatever getting them to the training that they're supposed to have that is mandatory yeah there are some really bad units out there and really bad leadership but at the end of the day there's ways to fight that and get the training you need you see there's a lot of training out there for us some of us just don't hear it either because we don't want to or we're just so in a rush to get back to civilian world that we forget about it that we ignore it there's so much we can do better in this life each and every single one of us should be trying to do better so quit looking to the future quit looking at what you can do a week from now or a month from now or two months from now Quit looking for that New Year's resolution to make you a better person, to get you further along in your career, and start now. I don't care what your career is. It doesn't matter what you do. You could be a stay-at-home parent. You could be a full-time working person. It does not matter. All that matters is that you are moving forward and getting better. Because even as a parent, we all make mistakes. Even as a parent, we don't always understand what is going on in the world or in our child's lives. I have five kids of my own, and I learned something new in how to get them to do better every day, and they are all different. They all respond differently to different situations. Just like teaching is different for every single one of us. We all learn differently. And so I have had to take the past week or two weeks to really figure out how to get certain topics through to my son. I've had to sit back and look at situations and look at things that have been said to me and evaluate it and figure out how I can do better. I've had to sit back and look at the way I live my life and continuously figure out how I can do better better and I always look at it on a day-to-day -day basis I always look at my career on a day-to-day -day basis I'm not looking two months in the future I'm not looking for a new year's resolution I'm looking for how I can do better today I wake up in the morning and I plan my day to figure out how I can do better you know, with two months to go till the new year, with all of these holidays coming up, a lot of us want to take a break, and I'm all for it. Please take your break. Take your time. Get your mental health in check. Take time with your family and friends. But before you go on break, make sure you are planning and you are doing better. Make sure that you are working to get better. Talk to your mentors. Talk to your friends, talk to your colleagues, talk to your family, and always improve your life. I am not a fan of the grind culture in terms of grinding 16 hours a day at your job or whatever you're doing because that's the only way to live your life. That is wrong and it is a bad way to live. You are going to destroy your mental health. I am a fan of taking your time today to get better and then taking your hours after you're done working to get better. And it's all in different aspects of our life. It's in your family life, with your friends, your mental health, your work and your career, your school. It's always about getting better. It's always about taking that next step right now. Not two months from now. Not waiting for the new year to say, oh, I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to quit this. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do whatever. Because we all know it's going to fail. If you're relying on a New Year's resolution to set you on your path, it is going to fail. If there is something that you can do better today 
that you plan on doing in two months, then start it today. If you are determined to quit smoking, then do it today. If you are determined to quit drinking, then do it today. If you are determined to go to the gym, then do it. If you want to go to a course, then do it. If you want to get a certification, start studying today. There is nothing stopping us from getting any of the information that we need free online, except for our own discipline. So, I don't have a lot of words of wisdom to follow up with this. I'm going to be honest. Normally I do. I close out every episode with something from the Hava Mall or something else I found online. But the fact remains that companies are going to leave you hanging. Companies are going to lay you off. A lot of bad things can happen in your life. And if you don't know how to approach it, if you don't level up today, if you don't do what's best for you today to get better, to set yourself up for the future, then it is going to hurt mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, it's going to hurt. So quit waiting till tomorrow for what should be done today. Otherwise, I love you all and I really do want to see you all I really do want to see you all succeed. Excuse me. And I really do hope that you get something from this episode and every episode and I will be coming to you next week once again. So please submit all of your questions to ngl.link backslash Cyber Warrior Studios because I'd love to answer your questions and make these about you. Please drop a rating if you haven't yet done so. And if you're on good pods, you can actually review every episode. So please go ahead and do so. Otherwise, this has been another amazing episode of Walk With Me, a Cyber Warrior Studios production. As always, I am your host, the Cyber Warrior. And I will see you all, well, I will talk to you all next week. Ooh.